Hello, good evening, and welcome! My name is Modi Piranis, and this is Key Planet. This game is available on Steam on April 6th. The developer was nice enough to send me a copy early so I could check it out for you guys today. This game is kind of an arcadey uh, puzzle game at its core here. What we're trying to do is keep a planet spinning by adding new objects to it and keeping the rotation balanced so that we can uh, keep it spinning but also achieve the objectives of each scenario here. So let's get into the game here. I'll explain things as we go. But uh, as I said, this game is kind of arcadey, so it's very, very short little campaign missions. So we're just going to do a few of them. Give, give a little sample of how the game goes here. Um, so let's get into it here. Let's pick campaign. And we have only Trappist 1 available to us. Kepler and Gleese, I think, are the other two characters we have to see here. Of Trappist 1 is the this, this guy's here. In the opening cinematic thing, there was a little uh, story about the, all these planets leaving Earth after all the resources have been depleted. And uh, there are these three colored ships that match the three colors here, green, blue, and red. So I think that's represented in all the different paths that they could take. Uh, so let's go Trappist 1. This will be the easiest of the campaigns, I believe. All right, I've done the tutorial already. So let's get into the first mission here, Trappist 1C. And we'll uh, give it a go here and see how this is. Here we go. All right, so there is our planet here. Incoming message. I see you're doing a good job. It is time to talk about the other dangers besides the simple stop of the planet. Although in our sector there are more than 20 habitable planets around, not everything's as smooth as it seems at first glance. Here, the planet C is often exposed to a meteor shower. Try to collect, try to correct this ailment. All right, so we have a meteor shower inbound here, and it doesn't tell us exactly when that's going to happen. Colony age, we don't have any, we have a hundred people on board right now. We're spinning very, very nicely. It gives us a balance idea. Right now, we have a left and right balance problem. There's four on the right and five on the left, or five on the left, four on the right. Uh, and that's might be just the due to the gravity of the planet's pull on the sun here, possibly. I'm not exactly sure where the five difference comes from, because there's nothing on the planet right now. Unless it just has a natural off-kilter rotation that's keeping it going here. But then basically down here, we're going to get structures we add in. So freeze ray, for instance. A freeze ray slows objects with the help of a frost ray. So this will be stopping those uh, pesky meteorites from crashing into us. We just place that on the planet like this. And then as we go, we'll slowly get more objects. We can need a battery next. Let's put it on the other side here. So it tells you what each one will do um, when you're about to place it. So we have two balance, 2% 2 population growth, and zero power ch for this one. I'm going to try to keep things mostly even here. The balance is the big problem here now. We have a, a left-right problem of 2-7 right now. So left is the, the lighter side. So I want to put this over there. Try to get that balanced out a little bit more. So we have four, five, six here now. It's pretty good. We are starting to slow down just a little bit, though. Um, and at times, it's actually getting pretty extreme. So we got to get something over on this side, I think. This is a minigun. It's going to take one power. We don't have any power at the moment. Um, it's an excellent melee weapon, okay? And we need we need some power here quickly. So I'm going to see if we can get something going here. Oof, mountains are very heavy. We are out of power here. Nothing will run. This is going to be very, very bad. Oh, and the planet's starting to stop moving here. So I'm going to put that on there. Keep the planet rowing, but as soon as it gets down to the bottom here, it's going to probably stop. Because we have a very big imbalance problem right now. Got to keep it going here, keep it balanced as much as we can. Keep that planet moving. Now, as we add on more things and our population increases, we will uh, see our planet actually grow in size, which is interesting. Um, oh, there we go. So there it is. Meteor shower is inbound in 154 seconds. So we don't have a lot of time to get our defenses up, and really, we are not very well defended right now. This is a freeze on the freeze gun here. Um, let's put that there. This one is drones, which hopefully will protect, protect us somehow. Drone station re releases a swarm of high range inaccuracy, but long recharge. Oh God, we're losing, we're losing some steam here. Oh God, we're going too slow. We're going too slow. It's going the wrong way. Get some weight on the side here. It's not enough. Oh, why is it slowing down here? So if you slow down too much, You'll notice the plan will start to cool down or heat up on a certain side of it. Your people are slowly uh, dying when that happens, so the shield's going to take too much power here. We need more things that produce power. Right now we're out of power here. Generator, that's what we need. Absolutely. This will do some more balance problemming, though. Let's put it on this side here. Looks like the, the left-hand side is the problem. There we go. Alright, so now it's on the right-hand side. Now, I think the, the dividing line is this thing here. So now we're down here at the right. Um... We're going okay. We just need more power. Freeze gun is not going to help us right now. Now, we can't put stuff into here to save it for later. Uh, this is, again, going to slow us down some more here. Oh, God. We're, our place, whole place got bigger just now. Oh, generator. That's awesome. Uh, let's get on this side of the planet because it looks like we're having some problems going that direction. 
We're going the wrong direction. It's not a good thing when your planet just stops like that. I imagine that's going to have an ill effect on the people on the, on the planet's surface here. Uh, shield is going to take more. but am going to on this other side here if we can. And now we might have a balance problem again here when it gets back around. Because, yeah, look at how much that's changing. We're at 38 on the right here. We're going to have, we have to get more on the left to keep it going. Keep it balanced. Uh, so, like, right now, it's it's all down here, I think, is the way. The mountain is the big problem there. Uh, and we're running out of room to place things. Let's keep it going with that. Oh, we've stopped completely. There we go. Put some stuff on this side. There we go. All right, so we grew again, which is good, so we have more room to build with. But... We're still moving pretty slowly for my taste here right now. I'm going to keep adding stuff to the right-hand side here. And how's the left doing? 40, 48. It's not great. But you don't want to stop it on this side. I feel like do the rotation we already have and get the momentum going for us. And just get stuff as it comes around. Yeah, see, we've stopped again. We're going to keep going with the, the right-hand side methods here. Oh, we got a uh, planet stopped. And we have our meteorites inbound. Uh, the planet has stopped. Oh, God. We might have a problem here. We have nine... Surplus power, too, so that's good. Um, I don't know how we, we, we do it. I don't think we can take any action for the freeze ray and stuff like that. I think they'll just hit for the right occurrence. Okay, we have two shields up on this side. If we get around before these meteorites hit, we'll be okay. And we're starting to slow down just again here, though. Keep going. Keep going, little planet. You can do it. You can do it. Keep on spinning. Oh, we, we grew up again here. We got another shield out there. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. I don't know. It's going to be close. I might actually slow it down a little bit by putting stuff on this side of it. There's another shield. We'll take a couple of heat there for a second if the meteorites hit on those shields. Looks like we got a trajectory right for the shield. We are stopped, but we're going to block most of it. Oh! We took a little hit, but we're okay. Victory! People aren't happy about it, but we got a victory here. All right, so as you can see, it's just kind of like short arcade campaign missions here. Uh, let's go into the next one here. A little bit more challenging one here. 120 objects. That seems like a lot. That seems like quite a bit. I wonder how many we did on the last one. I don't think I kept track of it like that. Maybe it did and I didn't notice it, but we'll try it here and see how we do with this many. With 120 objects, that's going to be a very full planet. Incoming message. Well, for today, enough stress. Around the planet D is not observed. Wait. Uh, something's something's missing a word here. Around the planet D is not observed until the hazard, so just settle in it as best as possible. So it's I guess what it's saying is that we don't know what the threat is going to be until we get down into it. So, okay, place 120 objects. We got a balance of uh, 0 is greater than 5. Okay, so 5 on the right. Yeah, we got to start building here. All right, the timer doesn't start going until we get our first planet, our first uh, object down on the planet. EMG center, this looks heavy. Four. Yeah, that's going to be pretty heavy. We need something over here to balance it out quick. Oh, we're going to have a big weight problem there, I think. Let's try to weight that out here. There we go. Keep it moving faster. I wonder if there's like an achievement for like getting the most torque possible out of your planet. But it's like placing a ton of stuff on one side for like one rotation. This is the barracks, also pretty heavy. So one of the things too is early planet here, you gotta get your stuff as close together as possible. It's kinda tough, because the planet never stops moving. If the planet stops moving, you got problems. And, oh, we got a UFO inbound, 159 seconds away. Okay, we got some time, but not a lot. We gotta get going placing stuff here. I think I'm just gonna go quick as possible here, and keep it rotating here. We're gonna stick to the right-hand side. Uh, it's gonna end up heavier on one side here, and we gotta get stuff on the back side just to balance it out, I think, just a little bit maybe. But the main place I'm going to place stuff is on the right-hand side here. And we actually have grown about two sizes so far, so that's pretty good. We are slowing down a little bit, though. And we are out of power is the part of the problem here. We need more generators and stuff like that. Um, uh, too many power objects, really. i got to get some of those gone here. Grove is not bad. It's just taking the spots we need for a generator or something like that. Barracks is still taking more power. Oh, it's, it's zero power. It's power neutral. Okay, that's good. 
Uh, wherever we can fit it now. Oh, we, okay, we expanded just in time here, it looks like. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We have a big, big power problem here now. We're down seven. If we don't have enough power to defend ourselves, we're going to have a big problem here, I think. Oh god, okay, this mountain's going to be a problem. I'm going to go switch back to this. That mountain's going to be very heavy. If I can just expand the planet once more here, I should have room for everything. And we're slowing down. We're slowing down just like that. Oh, come on, get on the side of it. This is about to put it. Oh god, we're, we're burning up here. We're going to burn up here in a second. So if we get facing the one direction too far, one half the planet will freeze, the other will burn, our population will decrease. We get our bigger, bigger size planet based on the population. So we got the 500 there and just expand it a little bit. Um, and so we'll keep moving around here. It's, it's pretty balanced, actually. EMG center's pretty heavy. Come on, there we go. Is that a... It's not power generating. Oh, it is a generator, though. It's not enough, though. Uh, do I want a mountain or barracks? Barracks will keep our population high, but... We really need to get this thing powered, otherwise we're going to have a big, big problem when uh, these enemies hit here. I just gotta find a spot to put some of this stuff here. I don't have any room for anything. Trees, not trees. Oh man, I've never been so upset to see trees. Oh, we're almost net, we're almost positive on the power. I'm gonna go with less less things right now. That should keep us going for a little bit here. That weight that we just added in, we'll keep it going. We are 57 objects, not even halfway there yet. We're gonna have to have a massive plan to do this. Oh god, we're going back the other direction. Oh god, the aliens are coming. We have nothing to stop them. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. They're going to take our population out little by little. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. We need more. We need more. It's going to keep placing fast. Got to place fast. Got to place fast. Shields aren't going to help us. We need power. We need power. Negative nine. We're never getting power again. A little bit of problem with uh, with RNG here right now. That's a little bit of... Okay, we need six. We just need two. We need two things in a row here. Two power things in a row. We're taking more power as we go here. We're negative eight now. Our population is dwindling. We're never going to grow up at this rate. The aliens are taking us out little by little. Come on. We don't have any power structures. This is terrible. This is terrible. I don't necessarily think this is my problem. I think it's just RNG. We're not getting. We're getting too many uh, power consumers and not enough power uh, creators is the problem. And I guess that can happen. Yep, there's the aliens. They're they're on us. They're gonna take us out. They're taking our population with them. Oh, they're sucking us all up. They're gonna take us out into space. Hopefully, this next planet fares better for them. Whoever's getting sucked up right now. Our planet just did grow, actually. So it must be based on objects as well as people. Oh no, they stopped their planet. Our planet's stopping. We have 19 people left. Oh, that's it. That is it. It's game over. Oh man, that's pretty tough. I mean, some of it's my fault, maybe, but I feel like I was placing stuff as fast as I could. We just weren't getting the uh, power we needed, and there's no way to generate power without structures, and you can't really skip structures. You have to place the ones you get. So let's try it again here. Let's see if we can fare any better. Uh, place under 20 objects. Okay, here we go. We're trying it again. If we get some power consumers, we'll be okay, but I think, I think, I don't know. There's no way around it, really, because you can't really skip the next thing. You get one extra slot, and that's just this middle one here. So I could skip this tree, which doesn't really hurt us at all. Tree's just going to add some weight on, but that's it. Again, we're already having a power shortage. That should keep us nice and balanced, I think. For every tree, there's an equal and opposite tree. That's what we want. So this game originated on a Ludum Dare event. Um, so it was a very, you know, quickly made game. And uh, you get some of the best ideas coming out of those, uh, you know, those short little uh, competitions like that. I don't know if the competition is the right word, but events like that. Um, game jams and that kind of thing. You get a lot of fun ideas coming out of those. And I think developers enjoy doing it too. I mean, it's it's refreshing probably to, to 
focus your efforts on something that like quick and small and, and just get something done, get something creative done. Um, you know, it's probably a good exercise. But we're getting better this time around. We're power positive. Oh, uh, you might be slowing down now, though. I think I might have placed too many objects in a row here. I'm going to give it another second here. We have power, so the aliens won't be as big of a threat this time, I hope. It's hard to say. Oh, more generators. See, the game's being nicer to me this time around. Ooh, a shield. That's what we need. Okay, cool. Is there a place for a mountain? I guess it's over here. Eh, that's going to slow us down quite a bit. Let's see if we can balance it out. Keep it going. Keep it going. We still got 11 power. I think we're okay. Nope, it's slowing down. It's going back the other direction. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Gotta play stuff right over here. And very, very quickly. The side with the mountains on it's a problem. That's interesting. The mountains are pretty heavy. They're like six. Six weight. Oh, it'd be great to have like an entire shield network. Um... I guess for certain things like that, we got to pay attention to where we're placing. A lot of the stuff we don't have to think about placing, but like, you know, making sure we're defended on one side of the planet versus the other. Make sure we're shielded on one side of the planet versus the other. There's probably more strategy than I'm putting like, into it for thought right now. I'm playing it pretty quickly, I think. Probably more quickly than you're supposed to. Oh, we're slowing back the other direction. Okay, go, go, go. Keep it moving. Don't heat up. There we go. Another shield on there. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to let go for a second. All right. There we go. Here come the aliens. UFO. Can't place this anywhere. Get another shield out there. Protect ourselves. We're still slowing down though. We're going back the direction now. Oh, like a minigun there. Oh, that's awesome. We're slowing down quite a bit. We're running out of room. We got it. Sounds like we got it. I didn't look. I was afraid to look. We got 81 objects. Tw uh, 40 more to go, right? All right. It's slowing down quite a bit, though. I'm nervous to place anything else on there. Our population still growing at the moment? Another UFO inbound. Another 59 seconds till another UFO. Hopefully we get this before then. Uh, is there room for this anywhere? They're all the same size as the problem. There's got to be a spot for these things someplace. Otherwise, we're waiting for the planet to grow again, or just die off because we're going to be mis we're going to be slowing down too much here. Oh, we kept it. we didn't keep it going. Um, I gotta find a spot for this. I gotta find a spot. There's no room there. There's no room there. There's, oh, this is the problem. They're all the same size. I've per I've perfectly spaced enough for this anywhere. Here we go. Right here. Anywhere we can fit it. Anywhere we can fit it. Doesn't matter where. And we got, you know what we have for the next structure is the exact same thing. We're not going to be able to fit two of them in there. All right, we're going to have to rotate the other direction. Our population's dying off. It's burning up. It's burning up again. Oh, man. Oh, man. We didn't save the planet. It was weight again. Oh, man. Look how balanced we are. I mean, the problem is we're balanced. We're not keeping the rotation going by having it a little more weighted up one side, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I can like, like keep judging where I'm putting all objects on one side versus the other. I'm not very good at this game. I'll admit that. <laughs> Needs a little more practice, but uh, we stopped some aliens, so that's something. Anyways, guys, that's a little taste of Key Planet. Uh, this game is available on Steam as of April 6th, so just a little bit after this. Uh, let's go take a look at Infinite Mode. Go for the high score, basically. Yeah, it's kind of fun.
Anything that could show it, you throw at you, and then we get uh, we can get uh, challenges if we get some of the Kepler and Gleese and uh, Trappist one completed. So that's kind of fun. Lots of challenges, lots of levels. It looks like uh, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and joining me, though. I'll be back for another one very soon for something else. Have a good night.